hey guys so i do know it's been a minute posting on my channel but i'm gonna drop this little gem video for you guys and i hope you guys do enjoy it and before you go any further in this video please don't forget to join the jules emery family that simply means to like share comment and subscribe Hey guys, so I do know it's been a minute, but I'm back and for today's video, I'll be going in with the House Labs by Lady Gaga Concealer. Before I jump in with the demo for today's video, I want to give you guys a little bit of specs on this concealer to see if you guys are a bit interested in purchasing this concealer. Now, I did go ahead and pick up two shades. This concealer comes in 31 shades. Now, I'm going to insert a video so you guys, or a picture, so you guys can see the shade range. The shade range looks really good in my opinion, but you guys can voice your opinions down below and let me know what you guys think about this shade range. This concealer is priced at £27. Now, if you guys would like to go ahead and purchase this concealer, you can definitely try and purchase it from either House Labs, Mainside, or Sephora UK. So the claims on this concealer, it says to be infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients. This clean concealer brightens and covers with weightless serum-like texture that blends seamlessly for a hyper smooth second skin. They're basically saying this concealer claims to conceal, brighten and blur with a bonus of skincare properties in it. For the two shades that I did go ahead and pick up is 34 medium golden and I also picked up what shade is this one one second and I also picked up 31 medium deep so these are the two shades right here side by side and I'm just going to go right in and swatch the both of them. Initially, when I picked up this concealer, I only purchased one concealer. And I did initially pick up the shade 41 Medium Deep because I've seen a few of my favorite beauty gurus purchase this shade in particular. But then when I got it, I ain't going to lie, I swatched it. And I was like, that's a bit too dark or looks exactly like my skin tone. So then I opt for the 34. So let me swatch the two right now. So this one is 41. And then swatching 34. So these are the two shades right here. Now I'm just going to go in with 34 and apply in my usual areas. So far, it feels very smooth on the skin with using the doe foot applicator. Let me see how this one, how the darkest one looks on my skin. Nah, this one is way too close to my skin tone. I'll be putting this concealer in my makeup bag to do clients. So I'll just use a little bit of this right here. So far, I love the doe foot applicator. It does apply the concealer very smooth. There was no tugging, there was no pulling. Um... It does have a bit of tug to take out the doe foot applicator out of the container but other than that it's okay it does not feel heavy on the skin it feels very lightweight so far this is meant to be medium coverage so let's blend it out and see the effect we get with it and see if i need to apply any more just gonna take this brush right here and just blend out the concealer Blending out the under eye. You were walking away from eight hundred thousand dollars. Today you are worth hundred million. Ooh, that looks amazing. Okay. 
Wow, one side blended. This concealer is very much, very easy to blend out on the skin. Blends out like a dream. Just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna take a little bit more under my hand there, right? just to see how it builds up. But other than that, I don't feel like you need to go in with a second coat. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and be right back on camera to show you guys the finishing results. Hey guys, so I'm back with the final look for today's video. Um, with using these concealers. And let me just come up close so you guys can see. Now, let me give you guys my final specs of this concealer. Right off the bat, I think I'd rate this concealer at 6.5. I don't think it's a wow concealer. Like, I have a few concealers that I can say, yes, that's my holy grail concealer. For example, like my HMB concealer, my benefits concealer um what's another amazing or chem beauty those concealers right there to me right off the bat it's a wow and the price point i believe is way cheaper actually way way cheaper so let's say the concealer price point is expensive it's really on the expensive spectrum but if you guys would still like to purchase this concealer you can definitely purchase it from the two sites i've mentioned if you're in the uk and if you are purchasing from Sephora, the information that I know, if you do type this concealer as your, or this brand as your favorite brand, you will automatically get 10% off at checkout. Um, so that's just what, two pounds 70 off. Um, but discounts, any discount for me is great discount. So there's that. Um, would I go out and repurchase this concealer? No, I would not because I really don't, I'm not falling head over heels for it. Um, this is the first time trying it. So this is the first impressions, but my mind may change after using this concealer multiple times. This concealer does give a natural finish to the face. As you guys can see, you guys could have seen how bright number 34 is comparing to number 41 which 41 is more so of my skin tone color if you guys like a shade reference i am mac nc50 in my makeup forever foundation which i have on today i am 4n62 if you would like another shade reference i am in charlotte tilbury my favorite foundation of all time is 14 warm another great foundation color match is the NARS Macau in the light reflecting foundation. Another great match in foundation would be my Chanel number no. one. And I'm in the shade BD121. Um, yeah, that's my final specs. I wouldn't go out and repurchase. For the darkest shade, I feel like I will put it in my makeup bag to do clients. Um, if it, even though I don't love it for myself, probably it will work better on someone else. Um, they do say it's creaseless, but I feel like it's in my fine lines. But I'm going to try and reuse this concealer in another video to see if my, my thoughts have changed. But for my first impression, it's a 6.5 out of 10. So one thing I must say, as I mentioned earlier, that it's a bit of a tug to pull this out so it does cause a mess on the concealer already so basically wasting product already for me also the shade range i would say would be a mid the shade range is okay it's nothing spectacular it's okay because there is shade 34 and after 30, shade 34 you have 40 and then after 40 is 41. So the shades do kind of jump ish. Hey guys, so this concludes this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please do comment 
down below and let me know what you guys think of this concealer have you guys purchased this concealer are you guys planning to purchase this concealer when it's on sale please do drop a comment down below and let's build a conversation in the comment section bye